The pandemic has wiped out untold numbers of jobs around the world, some that'll come back and some that won't. Here in Korea, unemployment last month was the highest it's been for the month of June since records began. Um Ji Young has the details. Due to the economic fallout from the COVID-19 pandemic, South Korea has seen a four-month-long downward trend in the number of people in work. This is the first time since between October 2009 and January 2010 in the aftermath of the global financial crisis that the figure has been lower on year for four months in a row. According to data released by Statistics Korea on Wednesday, the number of employed people was around 27,055,000, down 352,000 from the same month a year earlier. The unemployment rate in June was 4.3 percent, the highest for the month of June since records began in 1999. The number of unemployed for the month of June also reached an all-time high since 1999. Apart from people aged over 60, all age brackets saw a decrease in the number of people employed and the employment rate. Breaking it down by sector, the biggest job losses were found in the restaurant and lodging sectors, which saw 186,000 job losses, down 7.9 percent on year. But an expert says the employment rate will improve this fall. Number of you know, new kind of uh, discoveries of COVID uh, patients decline a little bit. If that continues you know, down to the, uh, to the fall, I think significant pickup in the manufacturing, significant pickup in service industry will be expected. Finance Minister Hong nam -gi said in a social media post on Wednesday that he's worried about the situation and is taking it seriously, but added that it is showing signs of recovery when compared to April and May as the size of the decrease is getting smaller. The finance minister also said he'll try to speed up projects to create more than 570,000 jobs in the third COVID-19 supplementary budget, as well as accelerate the Korean New Deal projects. Om Ji-young, Arirang News.